And we have new information this morning on how the COVID-19 pandemic may have started. The Department of Energy says it has data that supports the theory that the COVID outbreak began with a laboratory leak in Wuhan, China. Senior investigative correspondent Catherine Herridge has been covering this story for us for years. Catherine, good morning. Other parts of the intel community have different conclusions. What are your sources telling you? Well, good morning, Tony. Two sources familiar with the U.S. government's COVID-19 origins investigation tell CBS News there is new reporting from the Department of Energy that supports the lab leak theory as plausible. The sources confirm the Department of Energy has low confidence in the finding, first reported by the Wall Street Journal, though it's not clear whether that reflects weak data or a limited amount of information. While the new reporting is classified, the sources say they believe it may be separate from an earlier analysis by the Department of Energy's Lawrence Livermore Labs, which is home to some of the government's most qualified biologists. That assessment also pointed to a potential accidental lab leak in Wuhan, China. While there's no consensus among U.S. intelligence officials about how the pandemic started, the FBI and now the Energy Department have both found an accidental lab leak increasingly plausible. The U.S. government ultimately wants to nail down answers to not only how COVID-19 killed over a million Americans, but also how to prevent it from happening in the future, Tony. Yeah, and Catherine, there are huge political and diplomatic implications as well, which raises the question of why it is just so hard to know exactly where this pandemic started. Well, that's right. The World Health Organization has met several roadblocks because of the Chinese government's persistent lack of cooperation. Nearly two years ago, a CBS News investigation spoke with current and former government officials who said there was significant circumstantial evidence that supported the lab leak theory. There remains little evidence, they said, that the virus infected humans through animals, Tony. So where does the investigation go from here? Ohio Congressman Mike Turner told CBS News in December that Republicans on the House Intelligence Committee will issue subpoenas to the intelligence community to gather information about the origins of the COVID-19 pandemic. Still three years since the pandemic began, critics say no meaningful policy changes have been made to address potential future outbreaks. Tony. All right. Got it for now. Mm -hmm. Catherine, thank you very much. You're welcome.